everyone to another episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast. My name is DK Diamantes, his name is Bricky, and Warhammer 40k on my podcast, it's more likely than you'd think. But if you enjoy today's episode of the podcast, head over to patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous, where you can get access to the Discord, bloopers if they happen, the $15 tier gets you access to all of our posters in digital HD format, including the most recent Zeldari poster. I am so mad I didn't think of that before the comment section. Whatever. Patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous. Bricky, how about stuff? I'm upset that I didn't think about that either. Mm. You make a good point. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, it is October. Whoa! Sorry. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Ooh. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I've been so excited about it. I've been <laughs> chanting this entire morning and I lost my voice. Um, it's October, mm. and we have our, our massive volume of October merch. This is only available until the end of October, uh, with the exception of, like, two products. Like, the, the, the little Lord regular will stick around. But all the, the fun glow-in-the-dark ones, the zip-up hoodies, the new sweatpants, all of that is available now. It is down in the description, orchidate.com. Get it while the, the month is spooky. And uh, also finish reading Eisenhorn. We'll probably probably do that in like a week or two. And uh, okay. and yeah. All right. Eisenhorn all right. Zenos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's all good stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. 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 DK, when you think about October, you know, it's 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 spooky month. Spooky it's, scary skeletons. It's fantastic, you know, like I October 1st is here and then I get to look at all the really funny skeleton memes that come out. And Uh one of my favorite subgenre of memes is like hardcore skeleton with unassuming text. Hardcore skeleton with unassuming text? Shy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm referring to. It's like the... The motorcycle skeleton that's like, hey, brother, you make sure you get a good night's sleep today. Ah, say your prayers, drink your milk, eat your vitamins, brother, with a with that, a skeleton that looks like it's right out of Ghost Rider. Yes, exactly. Ah, okay, okay, but okay. Those are some of my favorite subgenres of memes. Okay. So I am I am very happy with it. Um, okay. But uh, what else do you think of when you think of October? Uh, candy. And how much I hate candy corn. Warhammer related. Candy corn oh, is dog shit. It is the worst. I cannot believe people eat as much. I have one piece of candy corn. I'm just like, I I, I could just die. Pe- it people is, who, is awful. People who eat candy corn are the people who, who ask for wheat toast with their breakfast instead of sourdough. Well, that's. Yeah, OK, that's fair. That's, anyway, okay, yeah, that's what else, God damn it, DK. What else do you think oh, of? Oh, that's you Warhammer think of related? Warhammer October. Come on. I mean, I would think of Necrons because they're like skeletons. We already uh, did that. Next. Maybe maybe some orcs just because they're kind of, you know, monsters, basically. Because it's, cause it's orc. Orktober. Orktober. Right. <laughs> there we go. Well, I I was just thinking because they were kind of like green and with with big old monsters in it, and yeah. I mean, there's but that too. Works too. Yeah. Orktober, yes, siree. And uh, that is the episode today. Is uh, we're talking about orcs, and your quote is "Hold on to the pin, throw the of a pot." Ah, or an orc grenade. Is it, now is it an orc grenade or is this a is this a squig that they're chucking? That's no, I mean, actually a grenade. Okay, but, I uh, could imagine them like breeding squigs that literally had pins in them that exploded like grenades. Well, they do have bomb squigs, but that's not what we're referring to today. Okay. Uh, today we're chatting about orc weaponry in particular. <laughs> the this the be a very fun one. oh the the various <laughs> and enjoyable amounts of weapons that the orcs like to run with. Uh, now, obviously, we've covered a couple of these before in a Kirioth episode because. When you talk about big orc vehicles, you're going to talk about big orc guns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fair. But, fair. but in this situation, uh, we're talking about just a variety <laughs> of orc weaponry. Everything from your most basic shooter to your gaze of mork. Oh, there's a weapon called the gaze of mork? Could, would it be surprising if there was also one called the gaze of gork? No, it would not. 
I actually don't think there is one called the gaze of Gork. What? The- I think because because Mork is a bit more on the shooty side and Gork is a bit more on the stabby side. I, I mean, think there's like the claw both, of Gork. But aren't they both brutal and cunning, but cunning and brutal? Shouldn't they both be? In in the general world of, of orcs, normally Mork is the shooty and Gork is the stabby. Okay. Um, the, the only reason is, is you know, they got to differentiate them somehow, but the orcs are still, you know, goofy, silly little little people. They're just, they're just silly little guys. They're just silly little guys. Silly little guys. Silly little gits. Hey, just mm-hmm. a little git. Just we have that. It's glow in the dark now. Yeah. Um, but let's start off with, with something really nice and simple. Let's start off with the classic shooter. Okay. <clears throat> the, the only defining characteristic of the shooter is the fact that there is no defining characteristic of the shooter. I, I was going to say, like, at some point I was going to be like, how are you going to do orc weapons when the orcs have really nothing that defines a lot of their weapons? And it's just scraps that they just kind of wah together. Like, so it's like, what 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 is a shooter exactly? Because it it, it's just a gun that's just cobbled together by an orc. That that basically is the general consensus of the shooter. The the only thing that shooters share together is that it is basically a gun that fires projectiles. Uh, <laughs> and, and that's about it. Because, you know, you think of orc logic and you're yep. like, if your shooter is the same as another boy's shooter, then your shooter can't possibly be better than that other boy's shooter. It's true. Because it's the same. Big, I need a bigger shooter. Yeah. The the only thing that shooters have in common is that they fire projectiles at a at a decently quick rate <laughs> and they are incredibly loud. Orcs, man. Orcs. You got to love them. You got you got to. You love. have to love them. The or orcs truly are a I I don't know how to say. It. I, I mean, so many of the options we're going to be talking about today is just such obvious orc culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's culture, of course, spelt with a K because everything is spelled with a K. Oh, of course, because they're orcs. Yeah. Um, but shootas look in all kinds of ways. They're they're massively customizable. Some of them can sit with bayonets at the end. Some of them have uh, have like the AK. I don't know what it's called. The banana magazine, the AK forty seven one that's kind of curved. <laughs> banana. Oh, is it actually called a banana magazine? I am gun illiterate. So uh, I'm not good at it either, but I think they're called banana mags because they're kind of curved. Um, <laughs> some have flat, some have flat mags. Uh, shooters will fire sometimes just really large caliber bullets. Some will fire explosives. Some fire not that. It, it, what they shoot doesn't really matter. Yeah, I All mean that- it's, it's orcs. It'll fire something at you at a high rate of speed, and it'll just sound like a like like all hell's coming with it. It's like a thunderclap. It is significantly yeah. louder than most weaponry. I think it's louder <laughs> than a bolt bolter as well, because the orcs want it to be loud, because being oh, loud yeah. is fun. Mm-hmm. And just, you know, just shooting a weapon is enough for an orc sometimes. Sometimes. But, well, I don't think shooting a weapon is enough. Shooting a weapon <clears throat> and then killing things en masse is... That's peak. Shooting a weapon at someone else... And then making that weapon extremely loud is is great. <laughs> Based and red pilled. Uh, Shai says in the War Boss book, a human uses a grot pistol, even though it's built for a tiny grot, and it almost breaks the human's hand <laughs> with every shot because it's so and big and loud. And that's a grot pistol. That's not even a shooter. That's not like a big boy shooter. That's just that's just a little baby grot pistol. I like I like how the grot pistol looks like like a 50, 50 cal uh, hand cannon, <laughs> yeah. but it's like the size of the grot's head. Oh, that's bigger than the grot's head, easily. So, like so is the knife. Guys. That knife is huge. That's a knife. That's I mean, gr- grots are like kind of big. They like go up to your waist, kind of, sorta. People kind of forget that. <laughs> Yeah, that's still that's a those that's some big ass weaponry. A a reminder also, I, I 
Um, I, I actually did a did a Codex art tier list recently with um with the with the Poor Hammer podcast group, and Ooh. we were talking about the Imperial Guard uh, Codex art. And I like this one a lot because on the far left you can see the orc. Now currently he's dying because he's getting <laughs> yeah. shanked by like fifteen guardsmen. I was but, gonna say he's not having a good time. But you can see guardsmen arms latching on to his shoulder slash bicep on the left. Oh wow! And just like how big? Yeah, this orc. Like this is a regular ass orc, and like he is enormous. Yeah, and that that orc's probably like on his knees too. Like they oh, probably yeah. had to get him down to that it's so they could jump like, him. It's taken like nine guardsmen to stab him to death. Like <laughs> yeah. a orc shooter is monumentally large, which means yeah. that the things it fires are also gigantic. Yeah, that orc shooter is probably the size of one of those guardsmen. Or at least like their torso or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Pretty big. Yeah. It's also like massive. The, the guns aren't very long. I don't think a whole lot of them are like much longer necessarily than a las gun, but they're just really thick. They're chunky guns. So with the shooter, there's also the other kinds of shooters. You have okay. the big shooter, <laughs> which is just a shooter, but big. I, I one of my favorite like post ironic memes is people who play orcs at 40 K tournaments <laughs> and like, you know, they're fine guys and everything, but it's just so funny to see them in full, like seriousness. Talk about their rules. It's like, <laughs> all right. Uh, so this squad uh, has get stuck in, which gives them all sustained hits one. And the leader has the uh, head Wappa's kill chopper to get extra <laughs> attacks and devastating wounds. And I'm going to use the stratagem orcs is never beaten to have him by on death. <laughs> it's just like in dead serious face. And the, these are real rules. These uh, are yeah, the, everything from that. I was, was going to say, you probably didn't make those up either. Which makes it even no. more hysterical that that situation is literally happening as we speak. Uh, everything I said, I was looking at the app. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the big shooter is exactly what it sounds like. It is a longer, larger, louder, and heavier version of a shooter. Uh, it is often customized Yeesh. by their owner. It is very loud. Sometimes has a bayonet at the end. Fires even larger caliber bullets. Like, a, a regular shooter fires, like, bolt gun-style sized bullets, like, 25-millimeter rounds. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the orcs will just fire, like, I don't know, the big shooter probably fires bullets, like, the size of eggs or larger than or that. Or larger, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the big shooter that that orc mini is holding, that's a, that's a big boy. That's a that's huge gun. See, I mean, we just talked about, like, how big orcs are, and to have a gun that, like, uh, he needs both hands, and it's as big as him. Is like, whoa, that's bigger than a guardsman. That's it, like it a is, space marine sized gun. It it is pretty giant. Yeah, yeah it's also somehow scoped. <laughs> I I don't know why I can't imagine an orc using a scope ever. I feel I feel like that the orcs would go through some kind of mental gymnastics. Is like the <laughs> the best orc crumps the most yumis. Gotta see them to crump them properly. Like, I don't know. <laughs> true, true, true. You, they, you, there would definitely be some mental gymnastics for an orc to be like, oh, gotta look down me scope to oh, dome wait, as no. many yumis as I can. Yeah. Wait, I can no. That. No, that's wrong. It's it's definitely you put the scope on it because it makes him believe it's more accurate. Oh, yeah. And there's just nothing in there. There's no magnifying lens or anything. It's just like an empty uh, cylindrical piece of metal up there. And he's like, oh, yeah, oh, I can see him proper good now. Oh. It, it's like <laughs> it's like totally uh, cracked. Just yeah, like it's, this, it's barely you can't even look through it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like the people that wear the fashion glasses that have no lenses in them. Oh, my God. Yep. It's exactly like that for an orc. Wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. Chai says, wait, Bricky. Look at the gun. Oh, is that does Wait, it, is, it is a, a scope going into a it giant has a, iron it has sight? A giant iron sight in the front. <laughs> that's so, that's peak orc to that's have fantastic. a scope that goes right into the iron sight. You, you know, 
<laughs> oh, oh, darn it. Okay, there's like a little thing on the bottom, but I thought his hand was holding where the holes are, where this, the vented gas would go. <laughs> but I see there's like a little a little protecting thing beneath his, his hands. But I thought he'd like be firing it and he'd just be getting himself steam burns every time. Yeah, his hand just melts off every time. He's like, oh, it hurts. But his hand just keeps growing back. Um. Anyway, the other one that, that uh, Shai posted, that is an iron sight shooter. Uh, it has <laughs> iron sights on it, obviously, but more particularly, it actually has like tracer ammunition. Oh. So it fires red glowing bullets. Okay. Um, I, I guess uh, typ- in typical fashion, the Admec think this is sorceress, but uh, <laughs> yeah. they, they very much wish to g- get one of these weapons to check it out and, and understand why that does that. But uh, yeah, I was, you I was know. gonna say orcs know how to use tracer rounds. I, I. Like they, they can they how- can just wad themselves up some tracer rounds. Like I didn't even think that orcs would understand the concept of tracer rounds. Dude, I mean, knowing what they are may be a bit of a stretch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, there's uh, also DACA guns, which uh, are literally machine just, guns. It's twin linked big shooters attached to war bikes and small vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> you've oh, got orcs. the simplicity of the orcs is just pure you've got the super shooter which mm-hmm. is literally a big shooter on a flyboy or some kind of uh, <laughs> f- like flying vehicle literally just a bigger shooter that you put on uh, flying stuff okay cool cool and then they have the cannon spell with a k of course of course um this is basically a grenade launcher just a really big one Mm-hmm. Um, often a lot of them are like the single barrel ones where you, like you fire it and then you put a new one in, which is very annoying for orcs because it doesn't allow them to fire very fast. Oh, but yeah, often sure that would uh, that's a, that's a that's a that's a downer for an orc. But they also create a terrific boom and are very intimidating thanks to their large muzzles, mm-hmm. and that can be that can make the boys happy with it. Yeah, that makes up for the uh, frustratingly slow for you, right? Yeah. I I say this every episode, every episode. I'm so glad we found your knack for orc (laughs) impersonations. It's all thanks Um, to Brutal Cunning. Yeah. Um, And talent. Uh, Uh, So, nope, nope, take the compliment. So, on the the yin to the yang of the shooter, uh, if there's ever a shooter, there's often always the orc's other, arguably more important weapon, the chopper. Ooh, big chopper. Big All chopper, right. regular chopper. There's a lot of, uh, fewer variants of these choppers because there is no such thing as a standard chopper. It's a lot like the the shooter in that it's just something to slice and dice. It, it's, it can be a, a knife. It can be a machete. It can be <laughs> bladed, spiked, serrated, jagged, barbed, hand weapons. Notched. It could be. It could be a goddamn brass knuckle for all we care. Yeah. If an orc uses it to cut open your freaking belly, it's a choppa. It, it's a. It's a choppa. Shy has the right picture. There. Those are all choppas. <laughs> there's. <laughs> there's nothing alike. I mean, I they they are very cool looking choppas. Also, the little garrot trying to carry that big old axe is just. I love it. I love the orcs. They're such goofy little guys. I really enjoy this one right here, the big choppa that has it very much located the extra stabby bit. <laughs> you gotta have it. It's just, <laughs> just to help. The extra stabby bit. It's important, isn't it? Hey, choppas <laughs> are like heavy swords, short swords, daggers, axes, everything. Uh, Normally, the- if you're an orc, you either go with one or two options. You go with your shooter. Mm-hmm. Or you go with your slugger, which is basically a pistol version of a shooter, and your chopper. Because you have your shooter or your slugger <laughs> in one hand and your chopper in the other. Mm. I like I, I I like the the descriptions on these pictures. Like the big chopper. It's a dead killy X, isn't it? And the chopper is just it's good for killing stuff. It's it's just it's right down to the point. We we perfect. we love we 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 appreciate orcs in this house. Like, it's literally down to the point. Ah, uh, literally on the chopper. Because yeah. it's a, ah, look at you. I'm You're trying. a funny guy, Bricky. You're a funny guy. 
Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, I already have. So, now, if, if we're talking a regular orc arsenal, arsenal they, have, they have a, they have a chopper. Oh, you know. <laughs> that too. A chopper, a shooter, maybe probably a slug of some sort. What's the final thing we're missing? We're missing stick bombs. Of S-T-I-K-K course. bomb. I forgot all about the stick bombs. Stick bombs are a, a classic grenade. You know, you pull the pin, you throw the other part. Mm-hmm. It is uh, utilized as normally anti-infantry frag grenades. They're, they often look like the old uh, German ones back in World War II that looks like... Um, yeah, like a, that's, that's why I thought they called them stick bombs. Is because like those ones have a literal stick that come out of it, and then you have... Boop, 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 you know most likely yeah the thing is is that it just the for for reference it's just yeah it's like the german ones yeah um they're they're really you know you orcs as you can tell have a lot of good throwing muscle so they can go pretty far <laughs> no kidding you mean those green things that are made up entirely of muscle have good throwing <laughs> arms no very often, the orcs like to throw these into groups of enemies for obvious reasons, but they particularly like to try to hurl them at enemies directly so they can <laughs> hit them and laugh at them before they explode. <laughs> that's, that's, I, man, I love the orcs. <laughs> the contest isn't, uh, yeah, throw the stick bomb and kill as many as you can. It's try to hit him dead square in the face so you can laugh at him before it explodes for extra oomph. The, the orcs nice. very much like to watch their opponents uh, blunder and fall and get hurt because then yeah. they can laugh about it. Do um, do they use regular grenades or are they all just kind of stick bombs? Because I could see an much, orc picking up like a human grenade and being like, oh it's, a, oh, it's a stick bomb. And it's like, there's, there's no stick on this, you idiot. But they're orcs. Who cares? And they just throw it anyway. They probably call it like a crappy humey stick bomb. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then probably throw it anyway without pulling the, or maybe they'll pull the pin because they'll be like, oh yeah, it's yeah, it's just a worse version. They There's pick no it up stick. Oh, stupid Yumi's can't even put a stick in a stick bomb, and then chuck it. Um. So there's also a way, not a way, but a ton of various types of stick bombs. The frag stick bomb is the regular. There's the crack stick bomb, which is much of the crack grenades meant to like penetrate heavy armor. Mm. Um, there's the stun bomb, uh, which is, it's a, it's a flashbang or something. Gotcha. Uh, there's the stink bomb, <laughs> which is made of, uh, cultured fungus and unsavory substances for a, a green vapor. Uh, it is apparent quote, the stench produced by an orc stick bomb, stink bomb is beyond description and has a powerful incapacitating effect on any non orc orcoid creature with at least a rudimentary sense of smell. Oof, uh, oof. Uh. Shy said it's like throwing me into a room, and I disagree. And well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm with you on this. I back you up. We I, both I was, take good care of our scent. I was gonna say maybe if I go a little heavy-handed with the cologne, it might be sort of like that, but like with just you know an expensive fragrance, you know. Yeah, you and I have discussed discussed male cologne on multiple occasions we have we, if there is anyone who is going to be the stink bomb i refuse to allow it to be us hell yeah we will be the new orc cringe bomb yeah yeah we'll we'll be like the antithesis to the orc stink bomb we're the reddit bomb they throw us in there and then they just they want to leave immediately like <laughs> at the end of rogue one with the one <laughs> rebel guy who was like help us help us <laughs> the door stuck sorry bye me, me, when I walk into a room with a, a three-hour Horace Heresy lecture prepared. <laughs> Only three hours. Huh. I, I know. I was trying to show some restraint. Yeah, you really whittled it down. Well done. Proud anyway, uh, there's also fiery stick bomb. It's flames. Smoky uh-huh. stick bomb is smoke. Smoke grenade, yeah. And then the rest. Yeah. Uh, the, the best one, though, is the <laughs> buzz bomb, which is basically like Bioshock. Uh, it's a, a bomb containing a swarm of trapped carnivorous buzzer squigs 
I was hoping you were going to say that. <laughs> it, is, it is a squig beehive that they throw into a room. I was hoping, when I heard buzz bomb, I was like, please let it be a grenade that is just filled with like hornets or wasps or whatever, like that Baldur's Gate 3 spell where you just summon a field of like flesh-eating insects that just rips everything apart. Love that. Love it. I, uh, I also... I uh, want to say that that's that picture is the worst thing ever. Oh, <laughs> those God. giant squigs. Oh, I don't also, like that. Yeah, I don't like that. That's horrendous. I've been playing Terraria recently, and I just I just uh, got to the beehive part and accidentally summoned the queen bee. And I, I don't think I've been scared like that in my entire life. You know, I don't think I've ever played Terraria. Terraria has weaponry that would rival the orcs. <laughs> it is very interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but let, let's let's move on to some of the fancier orc weapons. We, we've talked about the orcs' <laughs> fancy orc weapons. He says, <laughs> "Hey, w- we're going to talk about the fanciest orc weapon out there." Okay, okay. The snaz gun. Ooh, I have heard of the snaz gun. Yes, the Daripa. Daripa. Is the snaz gun for from our good friend? Um, oh crap! What's his name? Captain Badrock. Oh right, 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 right. Good old Badrock. So snaz guns are like orc cursed guns. You know, most orc guns don't have any sense of understanding, but they're at least like visually look like guns. Yeah, <laughs> a snaz gun is ran by orcs known as flash gits. Mm-hmm. And they are the flashy gits. They like to show off. They they always love showing off their big and crazy snaz guns. And the, <laughs> and those uh, are snaz guns. These are the 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 ones that everybody likes to meme on for like why 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 do you have why why are there why are there three uh, why are there three clips why are there three mags why is there why why is it why 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 does it have the feed thing and the drum why does it have eight scopes on it why is there a flamethrower under there why is there a what's going on it's, yeah okay my my favorite one is the bottom left that has a giant plasma coil in the front yeah and, but it, and it has is currently bullets. and is currently ejecting bullets <laughs> and there's no other barrels to where it could come out of yeah so it's a it's a it's a it's it's a ray gun that shoots bullets i mean come on is that not the most orc thing you've ever heard please revive me i have ray gun <laughs> also yeah why is the chainsword part of the bayonet shorter than the barrel of the gun <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, if you're up close and personal, you can just whack them over the head with it. You know, just. Have you noticed the bottom right one has a flamethrower barrel at the end, yet there's a bipod? (laughs) I didn't notice that until you said it. (laughs) Just gotta gotta set this up real quick before I fire it at close range. Before I fire the flamethrower, yeah. Oh my god. Shai says are, she are, has the minis and they give you all the gun bit, bits and you can do whatever the hell you want with them. And you can just make great. your own uh snaz what are they again? No, sna- snaz snaz gun. gun. Okay, yeah. That's actually so, really cool that you can just customize your own. A snaz gun is a lot of things. These are stronger than regular shooters. They're off also obviously uh they're hardwired into the orc with like some primitive biotic kind of crap, some orc shit. Wait, really? Um yeah, there's like a little bit of like wires that you might see kind of like attached to some of the orcs. Um Oh. It doesn't really do anything, but they think it does, <laughs> so it probably does do something. I mean, yeah, um, if every orc thinks that those wires make it hardwired to like one specific orc and only that orc can use it, well then it probably works. The thing is, shooters, no shooter is the same, but like even the method of firing a snaz gun varies. It could be electricity, plasma, flame, bullets, ballistic energy, it, it, fast fire rate, slow fire rate, super loud or just regular. Like there, there is no <laughs> single similarity whatsoever when it comes to the snaz gun. Well. Well, it's it's like build a bear if you were, you know, in complete war and in the art of killing, 
you know. Oh yes, let us not forget the um the targeting squigs that are also oh, attached yeah, yeah, to yeah. the guns. And they're the sights with the little with the little uh, uh scope eye. I love those. I love those uh, squigs. They're 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 pretty they're pretty silly. Flash they gets cool. uh of course. Flash gets in game just fire a lot of shots and you know obviously it's all streamlined very much but they're uh they're known as a uh, crazy gun gun crazy show offs. Oh boy. Which is a, which is <laughs> a lot even, of fun. If even the orcs think you're a gun crazy show off that is that is a problem for everybody else. Let's go to some big stuff now. Okay. Okay. They're actually yeah, no, yeah, we'll do a tractor cam. The tractor cannon. It's tractor spelled with a K, of course. Of course, um, of course. And cannon, As everything too. is, sure, sure. So a tractor cannon does exactly what you think it does. It is a gigantic cannon at the edge of something that pulls the target towards the beam with a seriously large amount of force. Okay, um, tractor beam, cool. Often it can... It can uh, Go ahead and, and like be used to pull large objects, break buildings, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it can also be used as an anti-air weapon because you can drag aircraft down, which is very, very handy. Very handy, yeah. But uh, one of the more enjoyable uh, methods of the tractor cannon is to get all the grots that operate it to pull in enemy troops. And they are thrown with such force directly <laughs> at the tractor that some, I think, pass out because of the G's. Um, but some don't, and then they're just dropped right there in front of them for the orcs to be like, to have, to to beat the shit out of. To have their fun, yeah. I thought they would try and use the tractor to like, see if they could literally squish people against like a wall or something, or just throw them into like spikes or whatever. I mean, if it's funny, if it's funny to the orcs, then absolutely it's done. (laughs) Like play, I, I could imagine them playing like a, a game of tractor catch, where they just throw humans back at forth. each other. Yeah, no, Until I, I it think I think dies or explodes or something. I think you're I think you're thinking too too light. I think if you want to do it properly, you need two tractor cannons to pull an or uh, like a an imperial guard tank from two different directions <laughs> until like the human side is just ripped into pieces in this <laughs> spray of blood and gore. Tractor tug of war. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's probably the more orc thing to do is the tractor tug of war. I like it. See, there's also a variation of the tractor cannon called the lifta droppa. Um, we talked about this a bit ago. Yeah, that sounds uh, super familiar. Here is the the image. If you remember this one. Oh wow, that uh, is it, <laughs> the most orc thing I think I've seen all day. This is also a, a tractor beam of a kind, but very often the fun thing they like to do with it is to grab. So it doesn't just suck them up. Like it's almost like having telekinesis, like anti grab. You lift it up, you move it places. Uh-huh. Um, very often they'll take like a Lehman Russ and just lift it up and then wow. like, high, like uh, lift it over a giant squad of enemy guardsmen and just <laughs> drop it on them. <laughs> That's yeah, that would do it. That would do just it. Watch as it just lands on their head and crushes them all and explodes. Oh my god, it's raining Lehman Russes. <laughs> Which of course the orcs find extremely hilarious. As they should, because that is that is act I mean, aside from the mass death and all that, that is a pretty funny mental image. It's a it's a very funny mental image, definitely. Definitely. Wouldn't want to be under it, wouldn't want to experience it, but very funny image to think about, yeah. The uh, There's also another version of it called the Smash-A-Gun, which <laughs> is a much more clear version of the lift a drop a technology where it grabs it with a localized force field, lifts it up in the air, and then throws it back into the ground at extreme speeds. All right, sounds about right. Yep, sounds, sounds about right for the orcs. Okay. Uh, one really, really funny weapon, though, outside of all of these various tractor cannon weapons, is called the Bubble Chucka. The Bubble Chucka? The Bubble Chucka. All right. I, I, okay. What, what does the Bubble Chucka do? I'm assuming it chucks like, uh, if I had to guess, they make like these bubbles of 
like, I don't know how I want to say bubble force fields or bubbles of psychic energy and just chuck them at people and they just run through people. So imagine you, sir. Um, Me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, sir. Imagine mm-hmm. you. So it, it's a force field and it's a bubbly force field. Yeah. And normally these force fields would be used for protection, block bullets, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. But they found yeah. out that once it hits an enemy, it explodes <laughs> on impact. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and either do extreme like f- kinetic damage or will burst into smaller like soap bubbles and land like practically like mini grenades and bullets. Uh-huh. Um sometimes if you fire the bubble chucka properly, it will float towards the enemy. Or, or it'll create the thing, and it'll, like, create, like, someone will be stuck in the bubble, which oh. will be particularly hilarious, as they might be holding a heavy las cannon, or a oh. grenade, or a <laughs> flamer, and then whatever they fire will di- be directed immediately back at them inside oh, the bubble. Oh, boy. Next thing you know, Jimmy <laughs> over there with his frag grenade throws it in the bubble. And he's trapped in the bubble and just very quietly you hear a boop. And he's just this <laughs> cloud of, of gore. Oh, man. And these things used to be used for protection, huh? Like, it doesn't well, sound like these things ever properly protected anything. I didn't say they used to be used for protection. I said that they are an example of orc force field technology <laughs> that are okay. simply not used for protection. No. no, there's nothing about this thing or this bubble that will protect you. Sounds great, though. How is it on the tabletop? Because that actually sounds really good. Good question. So uh, a lot of these guns we've just been talking about are a group of things called mech guns, which mm-hmm. are a variation of guns all held by Grotz. Um, let's see. <sighs> what is this? Oh, Statue, my God. I imagine. Oh, my God. Okay, so um, we have the the <laughs> the bubble chucka. Uh, mm-hmm. You must roll a dice before firing it. And depending on which one, two, three, four, or five, six you get, you get a different kind of bubble. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah? There's different one, bubbles you can get? One and two is big bubble, which is a ton of shots. Um, okay. number three and four is the wobbly bubble, which are fewer shots, but higher damage. Mm-hmm. And five and six is dense bubble, which is the fewest shots, but, um, like more damage than a last cannon. So very high damage. Okay. Okay. So you're getting a pretty decent bubble, no matter how you roll. Uh, it appears to be the case. The bubbles are useful. It just depends. Like if you... Roll a one or a two against infantry, it's great. But against tanks, it's bad. You roll oh, a, a five yeah. and a six against tanks, it's amazing. Against infantry, it's bad. Okay. So it's that kind of thing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. A lot of RNG. They also have the um, the tractor cannon, which in particular is ludicrously good against flying targets, as expected. As as it should be, sure. Does, uh, does is that tractor cannon, is that, is that, why does it look like it's got like asteroids on it? That's the bubble one. Oh, uh, okay. Um, also, Shai says, along with these tractor weapons, if a Grot operator presses the wrong button, the gun itself gets pulled towards the target, which is pretty <laughs> hilarious for the nearby orcs. And also probably even more hilarious because then the gun itself will fly towards the target at massive speeds. Yeah, I imagine they must love that. They might love that more than the gun working the way it's supposed to. Um. All right. So there's a couple other ones. Okay. Uh, going back to some more melee stuff, there's also uh, the the grab a stick. All the, I can the grab imagine a stick. is those long sticks they give to like elderly people that can't quite reach things, and you know you pull it, and it's like the little claw, and it helps you get stuff from far away, or it's like up high on a shelf. DK, you're a goddamn genius. That is exactly what it is. No way! Why <laughs> do they it, it have is- that? It is used by Grotz for the most part to like grab a Humi or something and then they can't, they get stuck there and then or comes up and wallops them. Okay, cool, cool. All, Let's go. It often has barbs or stabby bits on the inslides. They, they used to restrain potential <laughs> slaves because orcs do have slaves sometimes because yeah, orcs are yeah. evil. Or, yeah, they're. Yeah. 
There's also like an electrified one that one of the orcs uses. Ooh. The guy with the fake hair that uses it to mess with his grots because he right, thinks the hair squig. Sure. Yep. There's a, there's the grava stick, which is hilarious. Uh, one of my favorite weapons in all of orcs is the tank hammer. Is this? I'm assuming this is a hammer specifically to be used at breaking tanks. It is a rocket on a pole. <laughs> <laughs> really just a, uh, okay i mean hey that would deal with tanks they're not wrong oh yeah that's the orc the zograd wartsnaga he has the grab a stick that's really cool oh yeah that is really cool actually um but uh the tank hammer is one of my favorite things it is a rocket on a pole <laughs> and you it, they run up and they swing it extremely hard at a vulnerable part of an enemy vehicle at close range <laughs> <laughs> often exploding on impact, very much also often killing the orc using it. I was going to say, that's a one-time use thing, and chances are the person that swung it ain't going to stick around long. Uh, good for them, I guess. Uh, hey, that's that's some determination right there. Good good for good for them, question mark? So the, the tank hammer in-game has the, the hazardous rule, which basically means after you use it, you roll a dice, and if you roll a one, they just die. I'm shocked that there is a way that you can roll or you can use this thing and the orc wielding it doesn't die. So back in the old, so 10th uh, edition is kind of streamlined a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Um, back in the old one, I think you just, you automatically hit and you just roll like a bunch of damage and then you just kill your guy. Yeah. But now it's it's more of like a, a general weapon you can have <laughs> used to, have use for. <laughs> Imagine the multiple use rocket hammer. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. They also have the bomb squigs, which are squigs with a bomb that run up towards an enemy and blow up. Oh, yeah. Sure. I, c- I could see the orcs. Uh, yeah. Just, but, you know, this is perfect. Oh, yeah. Sure. Just strapping a, a, a bomb to a. Well, that's true. I guess this is the same faction that has. Uh, grots and stuff, uh, literally riding and aiming rockets at stuff, right? So I guess it's not unheard of for them to be like, yeah, I'm going to use me old tank, I'm on. That's fair. Well, let's not, not forget about the ridiculous. grot bomb. <laughs> as the name suggests, I assume you strap a bomb to a grot and just... I Yeah, and then and then they explode. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I just they're imagine dropped an, from... An, Go ahead. No, yeah, there, there it is. Perfect. Oh, okay. For some reason in my head, I was like, oh, yeah, they probably just strap a grenade to a grot and then, like, chuck the grot. You know, like an orc just... Yeah. Remember, remember in the... Yeah, there's the grot bomb. I love it. So orcs also have things called zap guns. Uh, zap guns are kind of like just the, the standard laser weaponry of most orcs. Mm-hmm. Uh Pretty similar to like las cannons, just really big electrical weapons that fire at, at people. Okay, um, hence the name. Yeah, no, nothing particularly too fancy about the zap guns, besides the fact that it's extremely unreliable and tends to blow up. <laughs> which is, you know, <laughs> pretty classic. Yep, vintage orc. Yeah, but uh, I would be very upset with myself if we did not talk about the one of the best if not the best uh, weapon, orc weapon, which is the shock attack gun. This is, this is like a classic orc weapon. Um, okay, okay. Y- you really don't get more orky than it. So, so the, the shock attack gun, um, if I can find it. Whoa, is that what it looks like? That is what it looks like when it's not on the orc. What am I even looking at? Where does, how do you wield this? What is it? It looks like a knob or like, I don't know what, what the fuck is that? So a shock attack gun is a giant piece of machinery with a spinning blades and lasers and all kinds of electrical gizmos at the end. Um, obviously no one knows how to, how it works. Of course. But (laughs) it produces a very narrow force field through the warp beginning at the end of the barrel and ending roughly where the gun is aimed. Oh, so in reality, it fires something through what is basically a quick warp jump transit. Uh, very often <laughs> it is firing a Gretchen, 
<laughs> as it is say- currently being sucked into the weapon. <laughs> As I was looking at the picture of the mini and the art, I was like, is he vacuuming up Grotz into that gun as ammo? Is that... (laughs) What the hell? That mini is so great. (laughs) Because of this, the the accuracy of the orc is is always a bit up for debate, Mm -hmm. but the goal is... so, So it has a couple options. Let's say you're firing this Gretchen at a guardsman. Okay. You f- you fire it, it opens a warp portal, and then it opens a second warp portal. And then that warp portal might be behind the guardsman and totally miss him. It you might be still in open front the portal of to the warp, though. It's a tiny one. Demons don't really come out of it. Uh, it's okay. not one of those. Gotcha. It, you might open the portal <clears throat> in the front of the guardsman, and then a grot accelerates at him at insane speeds. <laughs> Um, now, if it, it'll, this will probably kill the guardsman outright, but if it was like a tank or something, nothing really would happen. Yeah, you just get uh, a splattered grot on its uh, front. Sometimes, if the orc is skilled enough, the portal is opened on the guardsman. Oh. And that will cause oh. a, a few issues. Um, yeah, having a warp portal opened on you is never good. And the grot will come out of the warp portal on you as well basically like fusing with your body oh no in this horrible (laughs) like like this this it displaces the matter around the spot oh boy that's i don't i don't like that mental picture at all what was that shitty cloverfield movie where the in space where the like one person got like stuck in like the wires and stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what it was called, but I remember like, you know, like their hand gets like fused into the wall or something. Actually, I think you're right. I think someone actually does get fused halfway into like a metal wall or something. Yeah. I don't remember what it was called though. So it's like that. I think it's Cloverfield Paradox. I think it's the name of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you're right. But this often does happen really well when the Grot opens the warp portal into like a Lehman Rust tank. And just completely in a catastrophic explosion, just destroys the whole thing, just renders it completely inoperational. The warp portal distorts reality, and it just, in a heartbeat, just completely ruins the tank. That, that, that That is quite the weapon. It is, back in the day, it would have a extremely, um, what is it called? An extremely, uh, varied damage profile. To the point where I've seen it do zero damage multiple times, and then one time I saw it do like 16. It it entirely I, depends. I wonder how this thing got made in the first place. Because, like, granted, orcs, they, they can wash stuff together, they can cobble stuff together, but, like, this is, a, this is a super highly technical thing to, like, suck in a grot and just start flicking it around through the warp. I wonder how this it thing is. got made. Mechs. Oh, that's true. They do have the the mech boys and the weird boys that tinker with all manner of warp and weird psyker shenanigans, don't they? The the mechs are uh, the the mechs, the big mechs. All those guys just are so good at creating all kinds of weird, ridiculous stuff. Yeah. weaponry. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but <laughs> that's a great I, I, weapon. I love that. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, orcs have several shock weapons, shock rifle that opens micro micro warp rifts inside the vict. Oh, uh. they also shock drags this, which we saw in Brutal Cun, which doesn't harm enemy, but teleports entire cars. Yep. And that's a great way to get beyond the Titan void shield. Orc things break all the time, but all often, the time. often an exploding weapon that kills your orc friend <laughs> is fine because he's no longer in the running to become the new boss. Yep. Or it's a Gretchen, which is also funny. Probably more or funny because stupid Gretchen. <laughs> yeah, or it's just funny because it's funny. Yeah. It's like, oh, actually, there is one orc. Um, it is the Storm Boys. Storm Boys are orcs that have, that they're, they're jetpack orcs, but they have gigantic rockets strapped to their backs. <laughs> like, it, it's not even like a jetpack. It is just a rocket. Rocket, yeah. I feel and, like I've seen those. Yeah, and it's like get 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 in the fight even faster. Mhm. And I so I wonder how many of them just explode and die. I got to so, be a ton. 
they they do they do have uh a, an ability where um uh you can advance and charge which allows you to go really fast but you need to roll a dice for every single guy in the unit and for every one they just die <laughs> i love the orcs uh, there's also uh lobas there's the heavy lava, big lava, super lava. This is literally just a big cannon. Yeah, they lob they lob shells at people. I assume it's an artillery piece. It's yeah. a big artillery piece. Okay. Um, oh, and though I must admit there are a lot of unique weapons, uh, like like special upgraded weapons that you have, um, like chop of the great wa, the dead shiny shooter, the <laughs> souped up shaka. The gobshot thunderbus, the killer claw, the overfiend second best basha, head whoppers kill chopper, get stop rounds, brog's buzz bomb, etc. I like that it's it's the over what is it the second best chopper? It's not his first best one, but it's not bad. Uh, the the <laughs> overfiend's second best basher. <laughs> the second best basher. It's like, it's not quite his best one, but it's still getting the job done pretty well. And Wait, <laughs> I just love that that's a unique weapon, is the second best weapon of the overfiend. So, however, once the Octarius War began, the overfiend discovered this club was not as effective as he had hoped at staving <laughs> in the biggest tier in his reinforced chitinous skulls. When the Overfiend discarded it for a better weapon, his boys ensured the club was still put to good use. <laughs> I love that. The, uh, I, I'm actually curious about the Gobshot Thunderbus. I want to look this one up real quick. Gobshot. Uh, yeah, I imagine most of like the unique named orc weapons is just like, oh, it's a weird shooter that a big important orc used to use or something. Oh my goodness. The, the Gobshot Thunderbus. It requires an entire chest of teeth to be loaded into its <laughs> breech before it's shot, oh, no. which uh, this weapon uses unconventional ammunition plated in gold. And so not only can it sweep away entire swaths of enemies, but it also fires a literal fortune of teeth every time, proclaiming its <laughs> owner's wealth in the process and having orcs <laughs> run up to, uh, to crump the enemy and take the teeth. Wow. I mean... That's that is pretty ingenious orc. Uh, I don't want to say tech, but shooting the enemy full of like orc teeth, because then you can get the other orcs to want to kill them even harder because there's there's money in there is just peak. <laughs> so so Headwapa's kill chopper is Grand Warboss Headwapa and his tribe were last seen last seen charging headlong into a horde of cornate demons. But legend oh. speaks of a blood slick choppa that still turns up occasionally. Though this weapon looks normal, a dark voice is said to growl in the mind of its wielder, driving them on to ever greater excesses of violence. Oh, so it's like a possessed weapon for the orcs? It's, like a, it's a possessed kill choppa. Oh, oh man, the orcs would love that. I don't know. Oh. They, they, they might be thinking it's some of them them weird, uh, them w weird warpy things. True, but once once that little voice in their head's like, "Oh, you should go kill stuff," they'd be like, "Oi, I should go kill stuff," and then just be happy and start murdering stuff. Corn's happy, orcs happy, win win. And um, I I I think for the most part, I can't think of a whole lot of other. Oh, sure. Yeah, we could do Gaz's weapons. Mork's oh, yeah. Roar and Gork's Claw. Of course. Of co well, if Gaz is going to have named weapons, surely they have to be named after Gork and Mork, right? I mean, these are the weapons that he also got after his head was cut off by uh, Ragnar Blackmane and sewed on to an even larger body. Yeah. yeah. Which is just excellent. Very fitting. Very fitting. <laughs> As his I, I head mean, was on his new body. You know what I mean? Because... Eldar. Huh? I don't have a I don't have a, a sound <laughs> effect for this. I'll, I'll give you pipe. Uh yeah, I probably deserve that. That's fair. But yeah, it seems like there's a lot of cross section between like corn and and orcs. Um, I think that uh, a lot of the well, there's that one orc that lives in corn's realm. Oh yeah, and they're fighting in the arena forever and ever and ever, and he's just having a grand old time. I think it's because corn likes physical melee violence, and yeah, orcs I mean, it's, really like it. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I guess the orcs probably feed corn something mm, tasty. I mean, considering that orcs are all mildly psychic, I do imagine they do a little bit, but at the same time, they don't do it for the same reasons that corn likes it. So there is a little bit of a, um, like, yeah, yeah, corn likes orcs, but orcs don't care. <laughs> it's unrequited love, she says. <laughs> That I, sounds about right. I don't think Corn cares if they love him, though, because like they're still feeding him. So he's like, "Yeah, sure, whatever. You don't know about me. You don't love me. I don't give up. Just keep doing what you do." Corn uh, cares not for which the blood flows, but uh, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, everything after that for orcs is relatively just larger versions of orc weapons. It's mm. just the bigger cannon, the bigger claw, the, the super, bigger laser super, weapon, super super shooter. Exactly. Yeah. The the boom stick. You carry if you carry it in your hand, it's a shooter. If you put it on a Titan, it's big shooter. That's <laughs> brilliant. It is. Man, I, orc it, episodes are always so much fun. I feel like orcs are uh, orcs and chaos are like the the bell curve uh, <laughs> meme of 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 forty K sometimes. Yeah. Where everyone starts off with some kind of marine this or something. But then, mm-hmm. like, once you really dive a hard amount into the 40k lore and all of the ridiculousness, you either like chaos because they're interesting and different and, and awesome, and yep. you're embracing the everyone is evil shtick. Yep, or they're you're like space marines, which you started off with. Or you're like, this whole thing is so stupid, I'm just going <laughs> to embrace it. And <laughs> then embrace you go orcs. It, yeah. yeah, sure. The only thing keeping the orcs away from killing the whole galaxy <laughs> is, is stupidity is them too busy killing themselves <laughs> yeah as as we've said before the 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 nerfing the the reason they're not the best and the re- the, the self nerf is they're just so stupid they they couldn't fight under the same banner for long enough all right that's all i got for today i, can, I you know what's the best thing i learned about all this what's that in a sense a choppa could just be this. I or would, would that be a smasher? I don't have the strength, Shy. Just end the episode. Wait, hold on. The no, Overfiend's second don't. best don't. Basha. Does that mean its first best Basha is... <laughs> Oi, lads. I need a better Basha. Take this one. And, and, and my... Son.